So continuing on the theme of the previous video I did where I compared the Knipex mini uh, plier wrench, the different sizes of mini uh, Knipex plier wrenches. Um, in this video, I'm gonna do a comparison of the smallest, of the smaller uh, Viperaid, uh, they call themselves technical equipment, uh, but they're the smaller, the smaller pouches. So they got some bigger ones, which hold like a field notes bag or that's like six inches tall. Uh, so these are the smaller ones. They're between like four and a half and five inches tall. Um, and then I'm going to just do a quick comparison of them. And also I'm going to give some examples of what they can hold. Um, and honestly, if this is a, this is a brutally honest review. Um, so if you're looking for a glowing review, um, this is not it. Um, so we'll, but, but we'll start with the good things first. So first of all, the quality is top notch, uh, both the fabric and the stitching every, and the zippers, everything feels awesome. Um, but other than that, that's kind of like where <laughs> my glowing review ends, um, because kind of like the functionality and the thoughtfulness that went into these designs kind of, to me, feels a little bit lacking or it's just not fitting for my use case. So if your use case is, is for these things, uh, then potentially it could be awesome. Um, so we'll start with the two side ones. So the two side ones are kind of like the flatter ones. They have less thickness, although these ones also are very, very flat. They have very, very little thickness uh, or a little, very, very little volume. These ones are even more so flat and we'll kind of get them out of the way because there isn't that much to talk about. Um, so this one is the VE8. So we got here the VE8, the VE18, the 28 and the nine. Um, if you're looking for those model numbers on Amazon or on their website. Um, this one is really kind of just like, it literally just has room. It has a flat pocket in the front for a cash and card. Uh, and then in the back, it has two uh, long elongated pockets. And even the bigger one is only big enough really for like this one of the medium sized uh, Swiss Army knives or one of these. And honestly, the flatter, the better. So if you're looking for something with a bit of volume, this already is really the limit and it kind of like bends it out of shape. So if you have a card here in the back or some a bunch of cards here, again, it'll hold, hold cards no problem. But if you have something, if you want to put something which is slightly thicker than some cards, you're already running into trouble. So if you're looking to store anything with any amount of thickness, this is not the solution. Um, if you have something in the back or whether you're not, like these are really, really tiny uh, thin pockets. Uh, like literally you can get a, a thing of chapstick in here and that about it. Uh, a flashlight. Again, this is kind of already getting to be too round because as soon as you put, yeah, if you just put this in, it works. I'm just, and I'm purposely giving an example of like what this stuff fits. Uh, so you can see how it works. As soon as you've done this, this really, there's nothing left here. You can hold a tiny pen. Uh, that's it. Um, so that's that one. Um, if your use case is really just holding some credit cards and cash and a pen, then that could be good for you. It's not what I'm looking for personally. Uh, and then we'll move on to this. This is the VE9 just to get this one out of the way as well. So this one has two, this one has, it has two sides. One is just this thin, narrow, uh, long, uh, pocket. And then on this one, it has a good size pocket on the other side. Uh, but two of them back to back with absolutely zero volume. So while the pocket size itself is really nice, um, having two of them, one on top of each other makes absolutely no sense, uh, cause you can only really use one of them. Uh, so it's a good size. It'll fit a full size Leatherman if that's what you're looking to fit in it. But as soon as you put that in, you literally can't use this back piece. So even putting in, I mean, you could put in like, literally there's, you can't use this. There's like very little to do. And even if you do find something that you can use this, this is just like going to be banging each other. doesn't seem like a pra practical way to store it. Um, this other pocket is so, so thin. There's really very, very little you can put here. Um, and it's also super deep. So really this is for a pen. Other than that, uh, you can store stuff on the outside if you really wanted, um, but on the Molly, but yeah. <sighs> the other thing is about this, it kind of like, it bends because it's like this stitching goes all the way th through and it's actually it's a trifold uh thing here or it's a, a one two three yeah it's a trifold just stitched together um so yeah this personally again i'm not sure exactly you could put a pen in here a leatherman in here and that's about it 
I don't know exactly the use case for this, like these back-to-back -back pockets. It doesn't really make sense to me because anything that's going to be this wide and this deep is going to have a certain amount of volume. So I can't see anything. I can't, I couldn't think of any two things that would fit like that. Like it's literally, you're talking about something like this. So I don't know. For me, this is a big no. For me, this is like, I can't, for, for me, this is kind of like, I can't even figure out who this would be useful for. And for this, I can figure out who this would be useful for, but it's just personally not me. Uh, so that brings us to the la the other two, the 18 and the 28, which are slightly better in my personal opinion, um, but also they have their flaws. So we'll start with the first one. This is the 18. Uh, this has, and th these ones are both the same. So these ones are the same on one side, except this tiny minor difference in, in the moly. Uh, but it's got a pocket here, two pockets here, and then some moly. Uh, on the other side is where it's different. So this one has two deep pockets on this side, and this one has one deep pocket the same size as the deep pocket, but it has another zippered pocket. And then they both have a big kind of main zippered pocket. Um, so for me personally, and then they run into the same problems that the other ones ran in, is that they have very little or no, or no uh, thickness to store. Um, so... So here, like having two zippered pockets makes zero sense to me personally, again, because it's like you can only store flat things in them. And then if you can only store flat things in them, then why not just have it in one pocket? So like it's a it would be a rare situation that I could think of where you need like two separate zippered pockets. Um, and again, for a specific use case, maybe that would be useful, but it seems unlikely in my personal opinion. So like you can literally just store, only store very flat things in here. So like card and, and like, and this smaller pocket is so, so small. Like literally a card will barely go in here. And once you put it in, okay, yeah, it won't go in first of all, because it doesn't go all the way in the close. So this is like, a, this is like a coins, a coins pocket. And again, if you wanted to use this as a wallet then, and then keep coins in here and then cards and cash in here, potentially that could work but even as you can see like cards yeah cards don't go in here i mean you can fit them in but then it's kind of like a hassle to get them out so like this isn't really like a wallet pouch in my personal opinion uh it's more it would be more like a tool pouch and then as soon as it's a tool pouch and what the hell are you gonna do with this pocket so that for me the 18 and the 28 being the same except for this zipper pocket which in my opinion is completely unnecessary uh, the 28 is kind of the one that's kind of has that has the most remaining potential out of all of them um, and this one is okay. I could see the use case for this. So that like in this big main, the biggest, uh, pocket on the, the two side can hold a full size Leatherman if you wanted to go that route. But again, because it's all flat, once you put in a full size Leatherman, this isn't, this isn't, again, this isn't a full size Leatherman. This is a curl. This is a Leatherman curl. So it's kind of like the size of a wave. It's four inches, uh, but it's slightly less thick and I don't have an arc yet. I could, I, I'll get, I'm getting an arc tomorrow, but. Uh, I don't have it yet. So this is kind of like a thinner one. I'm pretty sure an arc an arc would fit here. It's only marginally longer and thicker, uh, or a Leatherman Wave would probably fit here. Uh, but again, once you've put this, the rest is kind of like, has to be pretty flat. So like, once you put this in, first of all, the, in the pocket on the inside, again, it can always only really store flat things if you're trying to put, we'll leave that for the end. Um, but then like, and then this other pocket, this side on side pocket on the other side is really, really thin. Um, it's really, really narrow. So you could put something like this or uh, potentially you could put something like, like hang something on the outside. If you had a, if it had a clip, you could potentially do something like this where just the clip is in the pocket. Um, and that would keep it, that would leave you with a little bit of room in the back. In the back, you got this one full width pocket. Um, so that can hold a card or whatever you want to put in it. Again, flat things only really, because as soon as they have any bit, any amount of thickness, it's like, mm, not really. Um, so this does work again, like I'm, and I'm, I'm, exp I'm experimenting as I pack this down. Um, and then it has, you're left with these two front pockets. And again, the flatter you things you have to store, the better. Um, so this is just a tiny little uh, screwdriver wrench from 7-Eleven L. Um, so you can put that in and then this kind of would be big enough to put in a flashlight. Um, okay, it is big enough to put in a flashlight. Um, and then what you got is this, it's kind of like starting, this is really the limit, it's kind of starting to be too full. Um, you could even put this like this kind of starting to be too full, but I have a, this is a good load of tools. And then this middle pocket is obviously, once it's loaded up like this, it it doesn't really work. You could, this is a little tin can that the ratchet came in. It's, I put it uh, with uh, bit drivers. 
So let's just see if this works. Eh, not really, kind of, you can do it, it'll work. Um, and then you can have kind of like, uh, not really, let's get rid of this because we don't need to use a knife. Again, so, okay, yeah, so we got that to close, but is this comfortable? I don't know, is this, what's meant, is this useful? I don't know, is this what's meant to be do, done with this pouch? I don't know, it may be nicer if it had a little bit more volume, a little bit thicker, a little bit more of thickness. Uh, and then kind of honestly, like the Leatherman is what uh, ruins this use case. But so like if it didn't have the Leatherman in the back, like this does work. And then if you put maybe like a smaller knife, this does work. But again, there's still a lot of wasted pockets here. So like this one is, is wasted. Let's see, yeah, I mean, you could still put this. So yeah. This is kind of like the maximum. And again, out of the four, this is the only one that I would consider to use for myself because I can, as you can see, like this is, this could be useful, like to keep a couple of tools, a flashlight, a knife, whatever together and the bits, a bit driver and the bits. Um, convenient, it could be cool, could be useful. I could see the use case, use case, apply a wrench for it. I could see the use case for it. It's kind of nice if you had these tools that you wanted to keep together. Um, so that's that, uh, that's a review kind of of the four. And then I just wanted to compare this. So this is the, the Viperade bigger one. Uh, it's kind of like the size of two of these and more, and honestly, significantly more. Um, and this is kind of nice. It has a lot of potential. It has two layers of these, uh, deep pockets, um, and then a bit of Molly, uh, a zipper pocket and then a mesh pocket, which is yeah, in the back. Um, and this pouch, honestly, I was like super excited about because I was like, wow, this could be, this has a lot of potential in my personal opinion. But again, like this, the flatness of these pouches is its advantages, it's, it's, is its advantage, but it's also its downfall. So like, as soon as you put something that has any thickness in one of the layers of these pockets, it's really hard to put something else. So like, if I put one of these here, one of these here, like this one, if you put something here, and again, it, I, it, okay, so here, like, let's say you do this, this does kind of work. Um, but once you actually do load it, uh, so let's load this thing. Let's just see what happens. Um, so this, these pockets, these pockets are nice. And if you have clips on your things, then you can, it doesn't really matter how deep it is, if they're too long or, or not, they'll just kind of like hang out there, which is, it, it's, it's nice. Um, so yeah, so this thing, so this is kind of like how this would carry. Um, this really shouldn't be here, it's too deep, it'll get lost. This could go in here. Could go in here or it could go in here. Because why not? I don't know. But either way, once you've loaded the front pockets, it's kind of like the zippered pocket doesn't really have enough. I mean, this is a hard disk again. This is just like an example. Um, and then, yeah, I've done this already several times. Like do each time I do it, I'm like, mm, I don't know, maybe it could. There is something to I don't know, and this is before I've even used the bat again, and it depends, like, is this purely for tools and every day? Is it purely for tools or can you use it for tech also? What is it exactly? What are you doing with it? Um, so this is kind of like ugh, loaded. And again, like here, like it's, I'm loading it. It's kind of loaded, but the zipper doesn't really close. It's like a pain in the ass to close. Um, because of this thing. So then I got to play around and move this thing somewhere. So it's kind of like, <clears throat> it's like if it had a little bit of volume, if these pockets had a little bit of volume, it would work. But because it's just flat on flat on flat on flat on flat, it's kind of like inconvenient. Like it just isn't good enough. It just isn't good enough. Um, and it's great. It's beautifully made. I love the fabric and the stitching. It's all, all really good. It just needs a little bit of volume. So Viperade, if anyone sees this, give us a little bit of volume. Like this pouch would be awesome. Honestly, if it just wasn't so like, like, 
And again, obviously I wouldn't carry two Leathermen's, um, a utility blade. I wouldn't carry necessarily all this stuff together. I mean, I, not even necessarily, I definitely wouldn't. This is just kind of like an example of how it would carry. Um, you could load it with different tools. You could put some sockets, you could put some screwdrivers, you could put some whatever, um, other pliers, uh, whatever you wanted. Um, but it's just like, it needs a little bit of volume. It needs some volume. I just wish it had some volume. Um, so yeah, that's my review. As far as my picks out of these ones, the only thing that's relevant is the VE28, this one and this one, if you're so inclined. Um, but in general, I'm personally gonna be looking for a different solution uh, for my kind of like tools, everyday carry um, bag, organizer, holder, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I'm not gonna be using these as much as I want to love them. Uh, they just aren't gonna be, they're not what I'm looking for. So I did want to just give a short little outro uh, about this pouch um, because there is a use case for it. Uh, it's not my use case, but this is pretty nice. So if you wanted just kind of like an everyday carry tool pouch, uh, it can hold a Leatherman in here and this is the Arc. So the Arc does fit. Um, and then add to that a little Knipex uh, four inch uh, plier wrench and then this little uh, ratchet screwdriver uh, which plugs into the Leatherman uh, bit driver which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can just use it like this, it's really cool. It's by 7-Eleven uh, and then this is actually cool because you can just use it kind of like this as a ratcheting bit driver and then that's nice. Um, and then in addition, once you put everything away, sorry about this, this is a waste of time on the video. Hopefully you won't stop watching. Um, if you put this, it's a tight fit. It does go in easily enough. Um, this pocket is wasted. Uh, this, there's nothing here. This is literally tiny. You could actually put like a micro pen in here or something if you wanted you could do that. Uh, I personally put this over here. This is also a really small pocket. Um, and then and there's actually more room in the back. Uh, this is the Leatherman uh, bit set, which comes with the Leatherman arc. I just got the arc. I'm pretty freaking pretty happy about it. It's pretty cool. Um, and then there's also room inside here for, I use the 7-Eleven case that came with this ratcheting tool just to put in a bunch of bits. These are dual ended bits. And then a couple more uh, one ended, one sided bits uh, for one, for bits that I couldn't find in dual ended mode. Uh, these are actually like SAE, uh, uh, SAE, um, Allen, Allen, um, hex bits or whatever you want to call it. Um, I see I only have two in here and then some torques. Anyways, that does fit inside here. It only, it barely fits. It only goes in the very beginning. Um, but then you got this and you can slip this in whatever you want. For me personally, I'm not going to be using it um, because my actual everyday carry is this. Um, so while I could, oops, that just fell out, that's not good. Maybe I didn't put it in deep enough. Um, while I could just drop this in here. Uh, if I do that, um, then this kind of gets big and bulky and uses all the space and it makes it into a bit chunky. Uh, so really I prefer dividing all these tools up and storing them kind of in like a more streamlined manner. So actually I realized I can put this right here against the zipper and it literally uses no space. Um, and then I have a magnetic, this is a mag MagSafe charger. Um, and that will actually take these two and they will stick to it in a very efficient way. So I just take this, drop it back here. Um, and then this little piece, I also just drop in here. And then that really, first of all, that takes everything out of here. Now I drop this also in the back here. Uh, this, this is kind of like, I'm not even sure if I need to carry it because I have the bits, uh, but I'm just, because it's so small and light and thin, it takes up no space, I figured I'll try it. And then I just took everything out of here and then both 
my everyday carry sling is thin and efficient and not fat. But I also have room in the main dump area to put in snacks or whatever I need if I need something temporarily. Um, so I'm actually going to continue using this for my everyday carry and I obviously have room in the front for my phone which I'm recording with. Um, so this is cool if you don't want to take this whole pouch but still I have things in my pouch which I can't put in here so I can't really use this as my everyday carry and obviously there's no room for my phone so my phone would need to be on the back of this. Uh, so for me I mean I also have like you know flashlight, uh, sunglasses, AirPods, some caching cards here, uh, chapstick, and then a whole bunch of just dump stuff that I rarely use, but it's basically flat in here in this little zipper pocket. So all this stuff, obviously a little hard disk. Um, so all this stuff obviously is never going to fit in a pouch this size. And I kind of would rather carry a pouch this size than a pouch this size because this is anyways not going to fit in my pocket and anyways hate putting things in my pocket for anyone interested in what this is this is the alpaca, alpaca tech case mini um, so this is my actual everyday carry i considered for a minute drop taking one of these to organize those like loose items that i have in here um, but after trying it out i realized i'm just going to prefer this this seems way more like streamlined and then putting the flashlight and the multi-tool out on the edges because I, for a while, I was carrying it differently. I was organizing it differently. But now that I realized that I, I noticed that I could put these two on the very edges, it just keeps the main part thin and efficient. Um, so, yeah, and I have a bunch of stuff here that I don't really need. But yeah, so I'm going to carry it like this. But that's not to say if someone who wants to take a bunch, a couple of tools in their backpack or just to be able to take them and transport it to other things, uh, that's not to say that this pouch isn't useful. So I think this out of all the Viperaid uh, pouches, this one would be potentially, this is kind of like the best designed one in a way. Um, it could be, I do see the use for this. Um, so I just wanted to update with that. I just wanted to give that update because my previous, up till now, kind of like my comparison and review of these pouches was, uh, let's call it, let's just say less than glowing as far as like the design of them. And again, it's just a design for my personal use case. It's not necessarily for every use case. Obviously everyone has their own use case. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the one which is the most, and I forget if this is the VE28 or the VE8. Um, but either way, this is the one that potentially has, this has the best design in my personal opinion, um, out of all the smaller, uh, Viperaid carry pouches. So I just wanted to give that little update because it does hold some useful stuff in an efficient manner and it's still pretty convenient. It is pretty convenient for a certain use case.